Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we are reacting to Type Beats on YouTube. So these are the type of beats that I like, they're not high end like Drake, Kendrick's Cole sort of producers, but they're still small producers, but to my degree they're quite high to be fair, like the producing level, mix and mastering. I'm not an expert in music, but I would consider myself like a music fanatic. I've studied music more than an average person, let's just say. In the last year or two I've been learning about uh, mix and mastering, producing myself, even made a few songs myself which are coming soon, so watch out for that. Yeah, so straight off the bat we've got a new tab open here, we're just going to type in Type Beats and see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. And as you can see there's loads of different ones, I mean we've got even a Homer Simpson one and they try to replicate beats from particular artists or like Travis Scott or Logic type beat, Drake type beat, you know what I mean. So yeah, as you can see I have been looking at some of these recently because some of these are actually worthy enough to actually use in a song and some of them are free so you can contact the producer like I've done and ask them can I use this and you pay for the beat and whatnot. Let's just look at this first one, it's called It's Free as well, so no copyright. Travis Scott, Inferno, Sad. Free type beat trap instrumental. So it's a good title. Turn that up. Okay. It has got some sort of like suicidal, like not to be dark here, but so some it's got some dark melodies. Piano. Oh. Okay, we've got the melody there. The 808s when they kick in, you, you, we're about to know. Let's have a look. Let's, let's, let's see. Yeah. Hey. You know what? That's not that's not bad. <sighs> to be honest, the kicks are good because it goes double double and then stops. So it's not overdone. Okay, that's very good. I'm impressed with that. A lot of beats don't do that. Um, when they leave, when they leave a gap for like something, someone to say something, so then when it, when they finish saying their phrase or uh, wordplay or bar, whatever it is, then it drops harder. So it's more emphasis on what they're saying. I like that. Does it switch it up though? Is it all the same all round? It's the same all round, yeah. Because some beats will have like a switch up. Like mostly diss tracks to be fair, but some beats won't, or for or like a bit in the middle for the chorus, which I don't believe this has, right? Yeah, so this it's basically could you be used for like sort of like a freestyle maybe, or maybe just uh, like a storytelling type beat. I'm guessing. I mean, there's so many type beats here. This one's another free one. Offset X Quavo. So we got Migos here. Let's go. Um, type beat. Safe and sound. Okay. This seems a bit more. Like a, like a violet hitting one, maybe, potentially. Like a more evil. Let's go. Oh, Penacho. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hey. Subscribe. <laughs> nah. So, I like that because it's got the sort of... The melody is the violin. Like... I love uh, I love my violins. Like, a violin is a good instrument. It's either a violin or a flute, by the way. Don't, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. But it starts straight away. It doesn't come in too early. It doesn't come in too late. The actual beat in the 808s and like the reverb, it comes in like quite soon. And it doesn't continue. The flute doesn't continue. It sort of comes in and out, which is good. So it leaves space for each artist to actually, you know, have a verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Hey. Uh. Yeah, I could imagine you could rap fast to this. You could have a long 18, 18 bar verse on this. Uh. Yeah. Overall, alright. More of like a trap. It's more of like American trap because you can hear with the snares and like, you know, the. Like, it's a very, very like American trappy song. Oh, we've got a J. J. Cole type beat will change everything. So I actually know this producer Yondo. I don't know why I'm not subscribed. It's because I'm logged into my other account. Um, but he's a very good producer. Like a lot of his beats are based around like actual good artists, if that makes sense. So like Kendrick Lamar's and stuff like that. Uh, Cole, let's listen. Yep. So okay, this is like a, a more soul type song. Oh. Very simple, but I like it. Very simple, it doesn't have to be complicated. Mm 
Okay, so I love how it 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 comes in it comes in late the beat like the actual the drop of it, but it's very simple and I really like that about some beats. Like it doesn't have to be overload. Some people, if you just chuck instruments in there, it gets too crowded. It depends on what this is going for. More a chill vibe. If you listen very closely, there's like a very intricate sound of like a sample in a background, like a. Mm -hmm. Well, that, obviously, that, I'm not some sort of singer, but anyway, you hear. Yeah, there's a, there's, it's a very faint as well, which I like because not many people will hear it, but it's like self consciously in your head. So, this is definitely, this would definitely have like a proper typical like chorus, like a vibey chorus, like a, maybe like some sort of relationship sort of song, love song. I like how prominent the kicks and the actual drums are. It's like, like it's a very that's a very good six lakh type beat X Drake type beat brain. I like how they call give them names. So already, this has got like a reverse synthesizer on it. Okay, you've got the booty in there. Okay. This sound, this reminds me of Rainy Days featuring Eminem. I don't know why it's got that vibe. Like, it fits it. Rainy Days. This can have a very, this is very, it's not too hard hitting, but it's got that perfect mixture in it. The mix and margarine in this is good. This is it's definitely a Drake type beat. And like, I like, he switches up the, the kicks as well. It's not all the same throughout, which is good. That's good as well. If if it fades out good and it gradually takes off each instrument, that's when you know you got a good beat there. Because they fall out through like how the rapping is or music's gonna be over it. I wanna listen to this because this looks very interesting. Uh, this is to all the YouTubers out there. They'll understand. It's free. KSI type beat 2018. X Logan Paul type beat 2018. Why did I repeat that twice? Uh, KO diss track. So it's like a diss track type beat. Like when they'll let's have a look if it actually is. A diss tracky. I don't know if it's the word of me. Oh, okay. So it's, it doesn't really have that sort of. K this would be like a KSI song, not a Logan Paul song, definitely. Logan Paul's sort of more bubbly character. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, I didn't expect it to go this like quickly, innit? Jeez. I know it's about diss tracks, they go hard from the start. Okay. Hey, do you know what? This is. I rate this. I write this not as a song, but for a diss track, yes, because you can easily spit loads of facts in each of the bars, and the way it switches up easily. It goes from harmony to then a high melody, harmony, high melody. Ratings. Oh, then it fades out again. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know what? Yeah. Big L. Big, big L. Sorry, big W, not L. I mean, literally, there's literally thousands and thousands of type beats. Let's go for a logic type beat. Let's have a look at that. This one's called Cocaine Type Beat. Ultra 85, new album coming soon, of course. Bobby Tarantino. I'm already getting them vibes already. If it starts with a trap. Oh. This is... Uh, this is very... This is basically copying that track that um, Logic released on his Instagram. It says, da, da, cocaine, 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 my, like, do you know that, you, you all know that song. It's very, very similar to this, so, and not that much originality in there. Hmm. A bit too much going on. It's a bit too fast, I don't know, that's just my opinion, it's a bit too fast. So there's another Logic one here, it's called Alive, so. No, surely not. Why do producers do this? If you want to be out there and be original, produce your own beat. This is exactly the same as when I under. Listen to it. I swear. Da, 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 da. Like, it's exactly the same. I don't want to be alive. It's exactly the same. Da, 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 da. I actually can't believe this, and this has got 10,000 views. How is this getting clout from just copying? 
To be fair, this guy Op OP Optic has got less subscribers than me, so just saying. No, no offense. All right, this one's called Russ X Logic. I mean, if they done the club, that would be that would actually be insane. I would love to see that. All right, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, it's definitely got them Russ chords. Piano. Yeah. This is more of a, a rust type beat than logic. Okay, go on, hit, hit me with that hard hitting sound. Yeah. Ooh. I could definitely see, I could definitely like feel the energy of like a rust chorus. I can't imagine logic singing over this. Nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good beat, but I couldn't imagine, I don't know why Logic's in there. It's more of just a rust beat, that would make sense. Kyle and Chance the Rapper type beat last summer. <laughs> Let's listen. Oh. Yeah. Already this is a Kyle type beat. Chance the Rapper maybe. Let's have a look at the actual 808s. Oh, them chords. They got some 80s feel to it, some reason, like some jazz shit. This is definitely a Kyle, like a Kyle type beat. Super duper Kyle, if you don't know him. I've actually seen him perform live, he's actually dope. But like, it's, his things are all about, his, his sounds are all about like, almost like video games. And like, just up, like, do you know what I mean? Like, positive, like, upbeat sounds. It's like machinery sort of sounds, it's really weird. It sounds like a video game. Is that it? Oh. I've read that too high now, actually, to be fair. I thought it was going to be more high than that. I, 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 don't, I don't read that that much now. So here we go. We've got, we've got a Jonah Lucas and Eminem and Lucky You type beat. They're literally copying an exact song. I hope it does switch up a bit, though. Let's go. Okay, so it's got an intro to it. You could probably, uh, probably imagine they're thinking about the visuals and music video. Not much to it. Let's, let's skip it a bit. Nah. Let's switch up. It's all just more monotone. It's, it's, there's no level to it, if that makes sense. No level to it at all. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this, because obviously I'm not, as I said, I'm not the expert on beats or music, but. This is just my personal opinion. Let me know if you liked any of these beats, if you didn't like any. Oh my god, we got a Fortnite type beat scar. This actually came out last year as well. Jesus. In this, I'm expecting like some sort of like video game sounds or maybe even like a Fortnite sample. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, they've just <laughs> they've just taken wait, let's just I'm gonna give it a chance though, because it is a Fortnite beat, it's not a serious beat. I mean like oh because obviously who would make a song about Fortnite, am I right? They've taken the intro of Fortnite, like the lobby tune, let's go. I feel like they're just going to add beats and snares to it and drums and just kicks and say, yeah, that's the beat. Yeah. It's pretty much the, the, act, the actual same. Uh, uh, to be honest, if you sampled some of this, it could make a very potential good beat. I mean, it's better than the it's better than the original. Like it could be this, they could put this element in Fortnite, but it's just there's still much, not much more to it. If they got samples of like particular like sounds or weapons or like acts like something like that, that would be creative. But they just sort of put a beat over the Fortnite thing. Do you know what I mean? Like something that anyone could do, really. All right, this beat is. This is a Jaden Smith type beat, uh, also ASAP Rocky as well. His album, Sire, obviously. They're literally putting so many key words in it. They know how to promote and get them more views. I go on that. Oh, this is a weird artwork though. They've like, they don't spend some time with that artwork. Yeah. Okay. Got the flute in there. Subtle flute, but. I'm gonna hear something crazy. Oh! That 
Do you know what? Ratings for the fact that they didn't leave the 808 beats in there, like, and the bass is hard hitting. The fact that it's called that, that actually suits it. It's called Psychotic as well. Like, that would be a good name for this track. It's very, like, it's very deep and hard hitting. Like, you could have flex on top of these. So, here we've got a Tyler Crater type beat. We're looking for a lot of like weird instruments, so like things that are not even instruments, so like chains, a very hard hitting beat of course. Like with Tyler Crater, he can put any sound into a song and actually make it good. Oh. This sounds a bit like Saba, you know, if anyone knows his rapper Saba, it sounds like one of his beats, like calligraphy or something. Oh, he's got that, <laughs> that deep voice. Ooh. Yeah. Nah, nah. I don't like how it dropped, but then it didn't come out with didn't, the outcome wasn't good. Listen to that again. That was all. Listen. That actually makes me feel sick. Listen to that. Like I couldn't listen to that. Like, if anyone rapped over it, or even the beat, like, that actually makes you feel ill. Talk about ill and, like, illmatic, of course, we got Nas here. Do you like that transition? We got Nas type beat, 1993. So, this is going way, 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 way back. This is an old school beat, apparently. Well, we hope so, anyway. Jeez. This sounds like... No. Hang on, hang on. Wait, why is there an ad here? Piss off. This sounds exactly like J. Cole's Everybody Dies. And then listen to this. That's actually the same melody. Dun 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 dun. Let's listen to it. Uh, I can guess why it's The melody's sort of nasty. It's not a really nasty beat. I mean, I know how the kicks are prominent, which are good as well. But yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm not, it's not bad. It's just, it's just all right. It's just like a, it's just one tone sort of thing. All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you never miss one of these types of videos again. Let me know in the comment section down below, especially what you thought of these beats. Do you think you think you can make beats better than this? Do you think you can make a Fortnite beat? Or if you are a producer yourself, like, you know what? Leave me a link to like a, a beat you like, for example. Uh, I'm uploading every single day, so be sure to stay tuned and in a bit. Yeah.